Good evening. Merry Christmas. Christmas. Good to see everybody here tonight, and I want to welcome all of you. We've got friends, family visiting from out of town, and we've got folks who are here every Sunday. We've got folks joining us from Norfolk Chinese Baptist Church and friends from Freedom Life Church who are with us. Uh, No matter why you're here, we're glad you are here tonight. So uh, I want you to know we're here to say happy birthday to Jesus and the more the merrier. So it's good for us to be together in this place. And I invite you, as you hear these familiar familiar words tonight of scripture and of carol, uh, listen to what words are being spoken. Because even though we've heard these so many times before, I always think there's something unexpected and surprising in the way that God is speaking in these words to us. So we invite you to join with us as we celebrate Jesus' birth together. Pray with me. Here is good news of great joy for all people. God has rescued us from the domain of darkness and brought us into the realm of Christ, in whom our sins are forgiven. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness is not overcome. Let us pray that we may know the warmth and brightness of Jesus Christ and show Christ's love to the world. Please stand to sing.
A reading from Luke 1, 26 to 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose, uh, whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, greetings, favorite one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the most high. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor, David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
A reading from Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. Please stand as you're able as we sing the carol Away in a Manger. chapter 8, verses 8 through 20. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid, for see, I'm bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it, it had been told to them. Thank mm-hmm. you. 
A reading from Matthew <laughs> chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. Please stand as you're able as we sing the carol, The First Noel.
Let us pray. God of the stars and the angel songs, as we gather this evening, all our attention is focused on a baby lying in a makeshift bed in a it-will-have-to-do stable. It's not lost on us that you sent your son, our savior, into the world among the poorest of the poor and told us, this will be a sign to you. As we present gifts to you, we pray that they might reach those in the greatest need, that they might lift those in the deepest despair, and they might bring <coughs> peace and compassion to those who find themselves amidst conflict. We pray this name in the Jesus Christ, amen. by gathering around the table with friends and family because that's what we do. To celebrate, we eat. And I think that this is something Jesus knew about us when he left us with the Lord's Supper because one way we express our love is around the table. And the words that we hear tonight, the words that we sing about what happened in the stable 2,000 years ago are important. But what we're here gathered to celebrate is the fact that those are more than just ancient words, that Jesus is with us now. That's what we're celebrating around this table tonight. And everybody who's here from every denomination, from every place, no matter why you've come, is welcome around this table because it's not the table of Talbot Park or Freedom Life. It's the table of Christ. So every one of you is welcome tonight as we share in remembering who Jesus is, what Jesus is has done for us. This is the way it's gonna work because this is gonna be a new thing to some of you. The deacons are gonna pass out a little plastic cup that's gonna have a piece of bread in it to every person in the room. Don't eat it yet. <laughs> You're gonna to wanna to eat it as soon as you get it. Hold on to it. Then I'm gonna say, 
take and eat. Guess what that's your cue to do? <laughs> eat it. Then they're going to do the same thing all over again. It takes a long time. They're going to pass out a little cup of grape juice. You're going to hold that. Then I'm going to say take and drink. Then you're going to drink it. And why do we do that? Because we're taking it together. Because this is a symbol of our unity and our communion in Christ. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread, he blessed it, he broke it. Jesus said, this is my body, broken for you. Jesus said, take and eat. Just as Jesus shared bread with his disciples, he also shared the cup. And Jesus said, this cup is my blood shed for you for the forgiveness of sins.
Jesus said, take and drink. Please join with me in the prayer that's printed in the bulletin. We give thanks, O oh God, that you come to us through Jesus Christ as we receive these gifts of bread and cup. Send us out into the world, ready to share your love with others through the grace of Jesus Christ. Don't shush the baby. <laughs> There was a crying baby on the first Christmas that makes the experience much more authentic, all right? <laughs> Again, I want to thank you for being here this evening. It's good for us to be together to celebrate in this way. Uh, this is the part of the service where we handle fire. So, a few reminders. It's fire. Be careful. The deacons are going to come around. They're going to light your candle. But the way that works, I found in the experience, the best way to do that let the person with the unlit candle light from the person with the flame. Because if the person who has the flame lights, then the hot wax drips all over your hand. So that's what we're trying to avoid, any burns or whatever. So just pass that down the road. They're going to come down the aisles. The person on the end is going to then light the candle with the person next to you. And by the end, we'll be ready to go. All right. Please stand and sing along with us.
Raise your candles. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. We blow out our candle, but we carry the light of Christ into the world. Merry Christmas. Amen.